What's happening, guys? Real fast, I just want to dump some thoughts that are on my mind. It's really been heavy the past probably a couple of months. I've seen more examples of what I don't want to be in ministry versus what I do want to be in ministry. And that's coming from people, you know, not fresh and new people doing this. It's coming from people who's been doing it for 25, 30, 35 years. And it always raises the question in my head, where is your ministry? If you stand behind the pulpit and you preach the gospel, but you're living it differently, you're crushing what you're preaching. If you stand on stage and you give this excellent message and you sing and just everything's awesome and it's of God, but your life reflects a little bit different. You get on YouTube and you're making these videos and somebody sees you out in public and it's completely different than what you're sharing on your video. Granted, don't get me wrong, we all have a bad day. We all have an off day. We might not be the nicest person all the time. We might not be, you know, on point and chipper all the time. I'm talking about a sustained evaluation of people's lives. I've been disappointed and people will fail you. Don't get me wrong. I have a lot of things that I see that just really make me step back and ask, where's your ministry? You know, I feel like if we're going to stand on stage, if we're going to get behind a pulpit, if we're going to get on here and make these videos, if regardless of what we're doing, if, if we're saying it's our ministry, our ministry should be our life. Let me tell you a story. And I always go back to this because it just, it spoke volumes in my ear. I cut all ties with the person. I was looking around on Facebook and this particular individual, he is a pastor, well, well educated, uh, not questioning his education at all. I got the noticing he was posting some not so tasteful things on Facebook, calling people out, horrible names, a lot of judgmental. And when I say judgmental, I'm not saying he's calling out people's sin. He's just calling them derogatory names, uh, posting a lot of videos that were distasteful. You get my drift. And I called him out on it. I said, dude, you're you're a pastor. You're, you know, this well-respected person. I don't understand how you're putting this stuff on Facebook. His response back to me was this. I have a personal Facebook. I also have a ministry Facebook. If you want to stick to more things that have to do with the gospel, then you need to look at my ministry Facebook, not my personal Facebook, because this is where I post my life. For real, I was shocked. You know, because I didn't know you were supposed to separate your ministry and your life, so to speak. So I told him, I said, in all actuality, you know, with all due respect, your life should be your ministry. And of course, he shot back at me with some very derogatory things, some more of the name calling, uh, deleted me, blocked me from Facebook. And I'm fine with that. Nobody's above that reproof. You know, if it was me and somebody sees me doing something that's not aligned with what I'm preaching, it's not aligned with the life that I'm trying to live. I want somebody to call me. I don't want somebody to tell me so that I can fix it. Basically, the moral of the story is your life's your ministry. If we're chasing the microphone in the name of Christ, but we're not chasing the name of Christ in our actions, in our daily lives, we need to reevaluate. We need to get all of it aligned in the name of Christ so that we can really push forward. That's something that's crushing the Christian world right now is we have so many people who want to stand behind a pulpit, sing songs, uh, preach, evangelize, but yet their lives don't align with what they're preaching. And I guess this was just kind of a rant for me. It is something that needs to be looked at and it is something that we all need to evaluate. You know, are we reflecting Christ in our daily lives? Are we reflecting Christ with our Facebooks, with our Snapchats, with our social media accounts? Or are we just putting on a show when we're on stage or behind the camera? That's the question. I don't mean to sound down on anything. It's just something that's been on my mind and I felt like I would share it. I feel like everybody who is walking with Christ really needs to evaluate their life and every aspect of it to try to keep it aligned with, with what God says, with what we're supposed to model our lives after. Not only f for ourselves, but we need to evaluate those around us, those people that we follow, uh, those people that, that we 
fellowship with. We really need to be accountable, not only for ourselves, but try to hold them accountable as well. And how they received that reproof will say a lot about their character and where they're at with Christ. All right, I'll stop. Until next time, God bless you all.